This video describes how to add a Sitecore form to a page. Sitecore forms don't work on their own. In order for them to appear on a web page, they need to be added to that page. Before getting started, you should have already set up your form in Sitecore and know where to find it. You should also be familiar with navigating the content tree. As a note, I'm using Sitecore version 8.1 you may notice slight differences if you are using a newer or older version. Let's get started. Log into Sitecore and go to the content tree. Navigate to the page where you'd like to add your form or add a new page. Lock and edit the page. Now you'll need to tell Sitecore to change the presentation settings of the page to add the form. To do this, click on the Presentation tab in the ribbon at the top of the page. Then, click on Details. This is the part of Sitecore that controls exactly what appears on your page. Notice there's a section for Head, Masthead, Navbar. Your page may also include a side navigation section like mine. To add the form, click Edit. Then, click on the Controls tab. You are going to add what's called a form control to the page so that Sitecore knows you want your page to hold a form. Click on Add. Find the form control under Renderings, then Modules, Web Forms for Marketers, and Form. If you don't see this option, make sure you start by looking at the top folder in the list. There are many other things in this list. You'll see an Add to Placeholder section at the bottom. In this section, add the word one column. This should be all one word, no spaces, and the sentence case matters, meaning you should have a capital O and a capital C. Just to note, if your page has a custom layout, such as multiple columns, the placeholder you enter here may be different. Check with the help desk if you need assistance. Click the blue Select button. Now, tell Sitecore to move the form up on your page. Make sure the form option is highlighted. If it's not, highlight it by clicking on it. Then, use the Move Up option to move it up so that it appears right after body content. Again, if you have a custom layout, you may see something slightly different here. At this point, you've told Sitecore to add a form placeholder now you need to tell it exactly which form to add. Make sure that form is still selected, then click Edit. The form control properties will appear. In the Form ID field at the top, use the drop-down arrow to navigate to your form. Remember, it will be in the Web Forms folder. The section may take a moment to load. Click on the name of your form, then Click OK. Click OK again, and click OK one last time. Now you're ready to preview your page. Go to Publish, then Preview. Here's the form. This means we're ready to check in the page and either stage it or submit it for publishing.